I'm Buddy Colby from the Percival Volunteer Fire Department. Um, we uh, cover a area in northern Virginia, northern Loudoun County. Uh, There's about 25 square 25 square miles. It's a rural suburban uh, area, and uh, we we're here to replace uh, our old aging ladder truck. The uh, Unique feature on this is one that we saw during our pre-engineering trip with the uh, fold-out step. We have two presently quantums that we're used to. We chose the velocity because the quantum was too tall to put a, a tower on for our area. So we chose these fold-out steps that uh, were unique to us and it, and it fit our needs. It makes the step a lot more ergonomic to get in and out of. Uh, the velocity cab, we like that because of the space that it, that it offers both the driver, the officer, and the crew in the back. Uh, this is our first year for going with the gray. Uh, it's something we wanted to change. We were usually gray, we were usually white and yellow. We've had this color of yellow uh, since 1988. We were one of the first ones in the county to go with this color. And we do this for visibility. Yeah, we like the traditional red, I will say that, but, you know, we have to go with safety. Um, very simple, it's a, a four-door, uh, four-crew member cab. Nothing special inside there other than we have EMS boxes on each side of the uh, two side-by-side -side facing forward. And, of course, we have the two rear-facing uh, bucket one and bucket two. Nothing special about this. They're both the same on either side. This is the transverse compartment, obviously. Uh, Stokes basket goes up top. Pipe poles, whatever hand tools we're going to get in there goes on the shelves. <clears throat> Nothing real special. And basically, what we did, we like we all do in the fire service, we look at somebody else's drawings, we go down and look at their apparatus. This is a copy, obviously, but we have our unique ways of doing things and some of the things they use, we didn't use, some of the things we wanted to put on, we put on. So it's, it's, very, it's fairly simple. Just cord reel, where you'll find most of them on ladder trucks. Up on the sign, we did incorporate our career staff hats up on the... Uh, Backside, the Duke. There, they. We are part of that team, and there's nothing special in these. Just empty compartments. Um, let's see. As you can probably see, there's a lot of lights on here. Our chief is a, is a nut for lights. Uh, there's plenty of them. We also are going to have some. Uh, Generators with quartz mounted lights on top as well, on top of them as well, so we can carry them around behind buildings rather than have to drag, drag cords with it. Uh, let's see, we also incorporated the county patch, uh, which they like to get involved with this as well because uh, we're partially funded by the county as well. All right, uh, complement ladders, we did change that uh, to pretty much emulate what, what the sister truck to this is. Of course, that's in Fairfax County, and I just told who we copied off of, but it doesn't make any difference. We did use pretty much the same complement. It made a lot of sense. Uh, a 35, a couple 28s, 24s, a 20, two 20s, a 16, and of course we got a 14 up on the ladder itself. Uh, we, did, we did mount our intake low because we do use four inch uh, large diameter hose for the feed in. It used to be, on some apparatus you'll see it up high, which can be a trip hazard, as well as uh, it's pretty tough to make that hook up. This side is basically the same as the other side. Uh, each compartment has it, we already have designated what's gonna go in those compartments. So we get back to the station, start outfitting. It's look at a picture, put in it what needs to be in it and move on to the next compartment. So mounting and, and outfitting this is going to be fairly easy. 
Um, we did maximize all the space we could find by getting uh, extra air bottles, two on each side, on each side of the, uh, the axles. Oh, let's see. Nothing else different on this side. It's pretty much the same on both sides. Fairly simple. Uh, we only went with one monitor on the front uh, because of our water supply that we can put to it is only about a thousand gallons a minute, maybe sometimes a little bit better. So uh, we have that ability to go from straight stream to fog stream with a push of a button. Everything should work just fine. Uh, we did go with a larger basket because you know most firefighters aren't very small. In a nutshell, that's just about it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Be safe out there. Don't forget, keep low, let it blow.